Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you cannot tell already, we've got a little bit of a different background. I recently moved and I'm so excited. We moved into our house. Ah, oh, it's so amazing. So I am working on getting this room a little bit more, I don't know, decorated, I guess is the word. But for now, this is the setup. I hope you guys like it. Let me know some just suggestions down below on what I should put back here. I'm thinking shelves or something of that sort. But anyways, let's just jump right into the video. Today is a really fun review. We are going to be reviewing one particular product, but I thought I'd also throw in a few others from the same brand. So today we are talking about this guy right here. This is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense. It is a tinted sunscreen. So it is officially summer. I think two days ago was the first day of summer, if I'm not mistaken. So I figured why not review this guy? I also have a number of products here um, from Drunk Elephant that I'm super excited to try. I have not tried this, so this is a first impressions, which is really exciting. So if you wanna hear my thoughts and see how this guy applies on the skin, then just keep on watching. All right, so like I mentioned, this is a tinted sunscreen, which is something that I love wearing throughout the summer months. I just something about it it's just it's lightweight it's easy to wear it's quick and it's super effortless just a quick note you do want to be wearing sunscreen all year round which I do in my moisturizers or my foundations or primers I try and always make sure there's some sort of SPF but it's really nice when you can just put on your sunscreen that actually has a tint to it because then it's kind of like a two-in-one you don't have to worry about the next step or et cetera, et cetera. But just so you know, even in the winter months, I try and always wear sunscreen, but in the summer months, it's super important to make sure you are protecting your skin and also your lips. That's something that a lot of people forget, but that's just a small tangent. So we're just gonna jump right into the demo and then afterwards I'll talk about the product itself. So to start off, I'm gonna be using another product from Drug Elephant. This is the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel super cool it's really neat packaging i love the drunk elephant packaging firstly their logo is adorable but this is the first time that i'm using anything from them so right now my skin is completely clean i just cleansed so i'm just going to pump a little bit of that it's just a really nice translucent gel formula and i'm just gonna work that into the skin oh wow this just feels like i just sprayed water all over my face. It feels amazing. So I'm just gonna push that into the skin. It really feels good. So far that was a love. Next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a serum. I actually am not one to usually wear serums that often, but I figured I would try this one out. This is the C Firma Day Serum from Drunk Elephant. It's a revolutionary vitamin C serum packed with powerful antioxidants, complex of L as, okay, that's where we stop. I'll put some info down below for you guys. So I'm just gonna take a pump or two. It comes out with an orange tint. Mm, it kind of has like, not a bad smell, but an interesting smell. Hmm. Ooh. I feel like the reason why I don't like wearing serums is because I find they always leave me a little bit sticky and I don't love that. But this one has really amazing reviews. So I'm going to try my best to incorporate it into my skincare routine for a couple of weeks and see if it makes a huge difference. So I'll keep you guys posted on this, but I don't know. Honestly, I'm just, I've never been like a huge serum person. I love moisturizer and then I go straight into it. I don't like wasting any time. All right, so finally we are going to be moving on to this guy here. So as far as I know, it only comes in one shade and then it's going to match to your skin. The directions do say apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure, reapply at least every two hours. That seems very intense. And it also mentions use a water resistant sunscreen if you're gonna be swimming or sweating. For use on children less than six months of age, consult a, okay, yeah, well, we're older than that, so we're good for that. It says do not use on damaged or broken skin, keep it away from your eyes, and rinse with water to remove. So it is a squeezy tube, which I kind of like for these kinds of things. Sometimes I apply with my fingers, sometimes I don't. I have really light pink nails right now, so I'm gonna squeeze some on the back of my hand, just like that. We're gonna start with that much. So I'm just gonna take kind of like a stippling styled brush 
and just apply it onto the skin like this. It doesn't have a strong, you know how sometimes sunscreens have like a really strong smell? This one doesn't. Okay, so this is one side of the face completely done, and then this is one side not done. It actually does give a little bit of coverage, but what I'm loving is the glow it's giving. So it's really illuminizing my skin, especially on the high points on my face, which I really, really like. I mean, it's not covering up any of my flip. It's not covering up any of my freckles or blemishes, but I kind of like that. I'm not, like in the summertime, I love showing through, letting my skin show through. So I actually don't hate it, so I'm just gonna quickly apply. And if you can hear construction in the background, I sincerely apologize. There's so much going on out there. We live like in a construction zone now, so. So the sunscreen is completely on my face now and I'm actually really, really loving it. I think it applies so easily. I did apply it with a brush, but I'm telling you, you could definitely apply this with your fingers and it would take two minutes. It's definitely simple. For me, for an everyday look, I'd probably pop on a teensy bit of concealer right underneath the eyes, some brows, mascara, and I'd be out the door. I think it really does give you that beautiful, effortless summer glow, which is really, really nice. I don't know if you guys can see, but like on the high points of my cheeks, it really does give a lot of luminosity, which is nice. I'm not even wearing highlight. So if you want to even further that highlight glow, just pop a little bit of your favorite highlighter on and you'd be good to go. I really, really like it. So just a little bit of information on the sunscreen itself. It is good for all different skin types. So I am personally combination to oily, but you can use this if you have sensitive skin, you can use this if you have dry skin. That's one of the greatest things about Drunk Elephant is that I believe almost all their products in their lines are designed to be multi-use for different types of skin types which is amazing. It does have SPF 30 in it, and then of course the tint that kind of matches yours complexion, which is great because I find, you know, I love BB creams, but one of the problems that I face with BB creams is that they never, ever, ever match 100%, so you kind of have to work with them. But with this, it kind of matches into your skin, blends in, and since it does have such a light coverage, you're not gonna really have any problems color matching, which is friggin' phenomenal. I did today apply mine with a brush. This one here is just a Real Techniques buffing brush. I really like this guy for foundation, BB creams, sunscreens, anything. It applies things really, really nicely, evenly, and fast. So I do like that for an everyday kind of look. Um, I don't recommend using it with a beauty blender just because it would take up so much of the product. It's kind of silly, but definitely your fingers, a brush, anything like that, I would definitely recommend applying with this sunscreen. The only downfall is that it's kind of a shiny penny in my opinion. It is $44 and honestly, it's expensive, but I think that this would definitely last you a month or two. There's quite a bit in here. There's 60 milliliters, which is a very good amount. So it's definitely not a horrible amount, but the price is a little bit higher than your typical drugstore products but honestly like so far I'm really enjoying it the only downfall is that if you're gonna be directly in the Sun so if you're going to a beach or you're going to a water park or whatever it may be and you're gonna be in the Sun you do have to reapply it every two hours to really ensure that you're protecting your skin and getting that full SPF 30 all day long um, otherwise it does wear off but that is the case with actually all sunscreens you do have to reapply your SPF in order for it to be working throughout the day I don't think I'm I mentioned this before but drunk elephant does have a sheer version of the sunscreen this is the umbra sheer physical daily defense again with SPF 30 it just doesn't have any kind of coverage to it so if you are somebody who is looking for more of a full coverage look for day to day you could actually mix this into your foundation you can apply it before your foundation anything of that sort so that's really great definitely two really great products for the summertime definitely staples for the summertime as well highly highly recommend be sure to check the description box because I always give you guys a little bit of an update I will be wearing this for the rest of the day and I will keep you guys posted on how my oil is doing all of that kind of 
stuff but overall I'm really liking it I so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions let me know about the background let me know about the lighting I'm still kind of working on it I have a gigantic window on this side so I feel like this side is darker so I will be working on that but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching be sure to subscribe to my channel and of course I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys